Wastewater Dan presents Wastewater Math Calculated with Excel Spreadsheets. As a new service of ESDLT's Environmental Academy, environmentalacademy.com, today's example is to calculate removal efficiency percentage of suspended solids. The problem reads, a gravity thickener incoming waste activated sludge suspended solids concentration is 0.99%. The underflow sludge effluent suspended solids concentration is 1,980 milligrams per liter. Calculate the suspended solids removal efficiency percentage for this process unit. Well, in reality, we have two challenges to solve this problem. Challenge number one is to express the concentration for incoming and for effluent as the same unit. In the problem, the incoming concentration is provided to us as percent, and the effluent suspended solids concentration is given to us as milligrams per liter which is interchangeable with parts per million. So therefore, the 1,980 is in increments of millions. So the first challenge is to change either the milligrams per liter to percent or to change the percent to milligrams per liter, which is an increment of parts per million. So for purposes of providing a solution to this problem, I have chosen to take the percent and convert it to milligrams per liter or parts per million. So in other words, I'm going to show how to take the 0.99% and express it as a milligrams per liter. So that will be the first challenge in the problem. I'm actually going to show you two ways to do it. So you'll have two separate uh, options that I'm going to present in the same formula for you. And then the other thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure we incorporate it into a formula that will actually calculate the removal efficiency percentage of suspended solids in this gravity thickener. So let's just look at the basic formula first. And it just says that the removal efficiency percentage is the number in minus out divided by the number in times 100. And right under that, I've put the numbers that we have to work with. The number in is 0.99%. Again, we're going to convert that to milligrams per liter. Or PPM uh, minus 1980 which is the PPM or milligrams per liter of the effluent and we're going to take that net number and we're going to divide it by um, the number coming in which is again going to be increments for as millions of the um, incoming percent in this case 0.99% we're going to take all of that and we're going to multiply it by 100. Okay? So let's slide on down here and let's see how we're going to put this into this uh, formula. So, we've got the problem up there. Calculate the removal efficiency percentage. Then we've got the text in the problem below that. And then we got our 
basic structure for the formula. And um, now let's let's look and see how we put this into an Excel spreadsheet. So first of all, open up a blank uh, worksheet. You can put your cursor in cell A1 and you can format that as a number with uh, zero decimals and then you can make it bold and centered and um, then you can go up into the formula bar and you can put in the formula that's going to calculate suspended solids removal efficiency percentage. So the first thing we're doing here is we're taking and we're re-expressing the 0.99% so that it would end up with milligrams per liter. And a very simple way to do that is to take the percentage, convert it to a decimal by dividing by 100, move the decimal point two places to the left, therefore the 0 0.0099 and multiply it by a million because we want it as increments of million. And if you just put that in an Excel spreadsheet by itself, in other words, if you go equal 0 0.0099 times a million and hit enter, you would have 9,900. So in reality, the if we take the 0.99% and we express it in increments of millions, it would be 9,900. So the incoming concentration is 9,900. So the 9,900 minus the 1980 divided by, again, 9,900 times 100 is going to give us our answer. So, um, and the other thing I want you to see over here in this part of the formula right here, you see where I got the 10 then I got this carrot and I got a 6. Now I'm showing this to explain that that equals a million. Um, if I were to have an empty spreadsheet equal sign and I put 10 and I put a carrot and I put a 2 and I hit enter, I would have a 100. 10 carrot 2 means 10 times 10. If I did and it would be two zeros. If I did 10 carat 3, I would have a thousand. And that's 10 times 10 times 10, or three zeros. So in this case, another way of writing, a shortened way of writing a million, is for 10 carat and six, because there's six zeros in a million. So I just throw that in there just as a little bit of additional information uh, to help you. So let's just go ahead and put this in our Excel spreadsheet. We're going to have equal sign. We're going to have three open parentheses. We're going to have uh, 0 0.0099 times a million. And then we'll have one closed parentheses. And then we're going to go minus 1980 and another closed parentheses. And we're going to take that, we're going to divide that by the uh, the incoming number again, which is going to be 0 0.00. 99 times, and in this case I'm going to put 10 carat 6 and put two closed parentheses, and that would be the decimal equivalent of this removal efficiency. But since we need to show it as a percentage, then we take that whole answer and we multiply it by 100 and therefore hit enter, and therefore the answer is 80%. Now, if the removal efficiency is 80%, that means that what's left over, or the effluent, would be 20%. 80 minus 100 is 20%. So to check yourself, you could take the 9,900 times 20% or 0.2, and you're going to get 1,980. So um, that's one. That's that's. That's a way you can solve it. Now, one other little thing I want to mention to you before we um, finish up this this little video is that Excel can 
automatically calculate the percentage for us if we change the format in cell A1 to percent. And when you do that, it automatically multiplies it by 100. So I have this as a number, formatted as a number with z zero decimals. But if you want Excel to actually convert it to a percentage, you simply would go into the formatting, you would format it as a percentage, and on the formula bar you would not include the times 100. And then your answer would actually show the percent sign. Your answer would actually show 80%. So that's just another little uh, bit of uh, helpful, hopefully helpful uh, information. So that's our answer, 80%. So um, I hope this has been helpful. I hope you've uh, learned from this. Uh, if so, please uh, subscribe to it. Um, I urge you to ask some, submit some uh, wastewater uh, math uh, questions uh, that I can solve uh, for you uh, and uh, uh, create a video. You can go to the discussion section uh, on LinkedIn uh, for, the, um, for, for the group electronic math, uh, wastewater math calculated electronically on Excel spreadsheets. Uh, you could go to environmentalacademy.com uh, up here on my website environmentalacademy.com you can submit a question there uh, or you can even go to ask the expert under the uh, process uh, magazine but in any event I hope this was helpful and hope this was a useful 12 minutes for you thank you and hope to hear from you real soon